Like other drought-stressed Western states, Colorado is racing to take control of its water future, to stave off looming shortages caused by drought, climate change, and population growth. Key to that effort is the state's water plan. Finished in 2015 and informed by 30,000 public comments, the plan is now five years old. It's designed to ensure everyone, cities, farmers, fish, kayakers, and industry have enough water by 2050. But water is a notoriously fractious issue in Colorado, and before 2015, few believed a consensus-based water plan was even possible. But U.S. Senator John Hickenlooper, governor at the time, wasn't taking no for an answer. We kind of cooked up this thing together that we were going to create the first water plan, the statewide water plan for the first time in the history of Colorado. In the end, we had over 30,000 people participate in creating this water plan. Since 2015, the water plan has helped direct nearly 500 million in loans and grants to help cities upgrade reservoirs, to help communities write stream management plans, and to support farmers as they test new methods for making their vast irrigation systems work better. Public river basin roundtables meet regularly each year to help their constituents solve problems and look ahead to secure the water future of each community. Becky Mitchell was a primary architect of the plan and is now responsible for putting it into action. It's the roadmap really for the future for all Coloradans that focuses on economy, recreation, environment, um, sustainable and viable cities, sustainable and viable agriculture. Everything that's um, is what Colorado is. Farmers are key to any successful water management plan in Colorado because they control roughly 80% of the state's water. Convincing them that state oversight of water planning was needed was not an easy sell. Jean Manuelo is a rancher and feedlot operator on Colorado's Eastern Plains. We start talking about water and uh, farmers get a little skeptical that, uh, you know, people are trying to take it away from them. And the, the idea that we do own 80% of the water uh, is a little misleading. We do have 80% of the water, but uh, we do feed uh, America with that water. One water plan goal asks cities to link development to water supply to help ensure growth doesn't outstrip water availability. It also asks cities to partner with water-rich farm communities to share water, rather than buying up farms and permanently removing the water, a practice known as buy and dry. Parker is one of Colorado's fastest growing cities. Ron Red runs the water district there. What the plan has done, and I think has been successful at, is, is bringing the stakeholders together to talk and, 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 and framing the discussion. The longer we talk and the more we work together, I think, we start coming closer to solving problems. Environmentalists helped develop the water plan and are now putting it to work, helping ranchers find ways to conserve water so more can be left in streams, and helping communities restore the overused rivers on which many rely. The Audubon Society's Abby Burke says the water plan should continue to help integrate the state's competing water interests in a way that is more sustainable as drought and climate change become the norm. Climate change and drought are undoubtedly moving us into uncharted territory with our freshwater resources. I feel that we need to do more and move more quickly. And looking at possibilities of better coordination between state agencies. We have the Colorado Water Plan, but we also have a climate plan. We have a drought plan. We have a state wildlife plan and several others. And water's the through line between all of those to keep our iconic outdoor recreation abilities, our lifestyle, our irrigating water, our clean, reliable drinking water that we all connect with. We are connected by water here in this state. And when we invest in rivers, we invest in Colorado. Looking ahead, everyone's focused on how to ensure funding for the water plan can be increased and how communities can be given even more tools to protect their water future. For the first time in the history of Colorado, it looks like we're gonna be able to to, not that we still don't have problems, but we look like we have a plan by which we can make sure everybody gets the water they need.